Oh, hey. How's it going? It's going great. What are you up to today? I'm uh, just chilling. You think Matt's going to shoot us? I think he actually wants us to just crack nuts. Really? Yeah, I saw some pecans earlier. Did you say pecans? Yeah. It's pronounced pecans. I disagree. You're stupid. You're stupid. You have a dumb hat on. We have the same hat on. Why is your drum hooked to your crotch? I don't know. What's in that drum? What do you mean? I feel like there might be something in your drum. Like what? I, I don't know. Oh, hey. Um, welcome to Demolition Ranch. Today is the eighth day of Christmas. I'm really glad that you're here. Today we're going to be shooting every grandma's favorite thing, nutcrackers. No one likes them except grandmas. So hopefully there's no grandmas watching today's episode. We also are shooting a SIG MPX. He's been out for a while, but I've never actually had one. I don't think I've, I think I maybe shot one once. But I just went ahead and bought this thing because I thought it was cool. Chambered in nine millimeter, takes these little mags. This is actually a 35 round mag. And there's a short little pistol caliber carbine. And we're gonna rip it today. At some nut, some nut, in some nuts, some nut cracks. Some, we're gonna crack some nuts. No, we're gonna crack some nut crackers. Hope you guys are having yourself a fantastic shoot. Fantastic December 8th. Uh, and I hope you're liking our eight days of Christmas so far. We are going all the way to 25 days of Christmas. You are getting a Demolition Ranch episode every single day until Christmas. That's my gift to you because I love you. And I just want you guys to have a, you know, a magical Christmas. I love some Christmas, so we decided to do it up big. We're shooting a 17 HMR, which is like a 22 mag size shell, but has a smaller, really fast bullet. I'm gonna just try to go through their hats and see how many Nutcracker hats it takes to stop a 17 HMR. Well, we knocked one of their hats off. It did not get into the second hat. He's bald, I knew it. Oh, it actually hit him a little bit in the forehead. My bad. I also put my knee down in some masa. So that's cool. Yeah, that was low, sorry. I've never really shot that gun this close. Got him a little low. These things are apparently made out of uh, compressed cardboard. But the bullet, I think actually did stop. Oh yeah, look. There's a piece. I think the bullet has buried itself somewhere in here or it just fell out. Okay, we're gonna have to go a little bit bigger though. I think we're gonna shoot 17 HMR again. I'll aim a little higher this time. See if it'll actually go through this hat. These are actually pretty neat looking little bullets. They are tiny and so fast. Just like me. Sorry. <laughs> Took his hat off again. Well, I'm consistent. I hit, I tried to aim a little higher and I still hit really low. Uh, there's a bullet though, look at that. It went to the middle and got stuck. I think, I don't know if this part's cardboard or just his, the brim of his hat is, but either way, no, it actually went through. Okay, never mind. That one did go through. That must've been the first bullet. It's kind of still wedged in there. You okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Just a flesh wound. This guy's tough. All right, we're gonna step it up now. Do a little bit bigger. Oop. Do a little bit bigger. Let's just try this thing out first, because I have not fired it. Oh. I don't know if that closes all the way. It's kind of cold. You know how stuff just doesn't work that good when it's cold. Okay, works fine. So this thing, uh, you have to put your cheek on this, which is not great, but it works. Dude, this is cool. I missed one. I was gonna be pretty impressed if I got through an entire mag without missing once. I missed once. This thing's actually pretty accurate. Let's see what we can do at 100 yards. Hey, editor, edit that in uh, just so it looks like I catch it. Got it, let's go. We have not actually shot 100 yards, so let's see what we can do. That's not good, it's not seated. That doesn't look good. That was a light primer strike. This was a used gun. <laughs> it's got a round in it. Hit. I don't know what was happening. We may need to like download these things a little bit. 
Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on here. I think it might be cold, needs some better lube. Never mind. Hmm. I don't think it's closing all the way down. Yeah, that's the problem. The bolt is not, for some reason, closing. Sweet. I like this thing. This thing's fun. Woo! A lot of people use these things in uh, like pistol caliber carbine competitions and have a lot of good things to say about them. That's kind of why I always just wanted to try one. Should we do hat or face? Hat. Let's just do hat again. Try to get right in line. Shoot this guy right in the hat. Dude, I saw pieces go everywhere. Hope they're okay. Yep. Hat is made of wood and it went straight through into <laughs> number two. And it looks like it went out. I don't think any, anybody else got hit. This thing was here and it went, you can see where it curved on that wood and took out. It only takes two nutcrackers to stop a bullet. And then number three over here is good. I was pretty scared, but number two is a champ. Redirect it. Redirected the bullet, so we're good. Thanks for your uh, your take on that, and we're gonna shoot something a little bigger at you guys this time. Is that cool? Super, super cool. Next up, five four five by thirty nine, out of a Galil. So this thing is going very fast. A lot of power. Ugh. Oh, you gotta take safety off. A lot of power uh, out of this small round, and I think I'm gonna. I actually don't know if these sights are on. They should be, but I'm going to try to hit them just in the top half. Maybe a face shot. I for sure see someone's head on the ground over there. Is that new? No, that's not. Oh, there it is. Right there. Can you still talk? Yep. Look, knocked out a couple teeth, but he's good. Came and hit this guy. That's right where Kentucky Ballistics got shot, so he would've been fine, he would've lived, but barely. So right there. The third guy, though, unfortunately, was decapitated. His jaw, gone. I don't know what happened to his jaw, but totally murdered. This guy's got a little scuff on his face here. This guy lost an arm on the fall, but I think otherwise he's good. Oh, what happened to this guy? So this was number three, got exploded. I think this is number four, he caught all the shrapnel. Oh, I love it. I took your drum. What is all this stuff? Yeah, the bullet stopped in him though. Bullet came in, number four, hit him in the chest, but he's pretty tough. Handled it like a champ. Oh, that's your beard. It, it pushed his beard into his chest. That's the worst. Next up is something much bigger. But first, I want to talk to you about our giveaway today. The item of the day is Link Active Shorts. And it's in the 30s, so I, I put them over my pants because I'm from Texas, but they're awesome. Athletic shorts, we got them in all styles. Link to the description below. And we're gonna be randomly picking some of you guys who order them today only, and Vortex has hooked it up. So we have four packages here with spark solars and little Vortex neck gator, a hat, a patch. It's pretty sweet, so we appreciate Vortex for doing that. So four of you guys, we're gonna randomly pick. You'll win this, it'll come with your shorts that you order. And then we have a bunch of other Vortex swag we're gonna be throwing in the other boxes. So. Link to the description below, and you might win a cool prize. Also, remember yesterday how Crispy stole the truck? Well, uh, I don't have it here today, but you're also still entered to win that. Um, something's happening to it. So everyone who orders today and every day during our Christmas season is entered into winning that truck, and it's uh, coming back pretty soon, and you're going to like what we did to it. This little guy, so 556. Oh wait, no, it's a 338 Lapua Magnum. Coming in hot at our line of Nutcrackers down there. I actually haven't shot this gun at close range in a while. We'll see where it's going. One, two, three, fire. That's the first guy still standing with no head. <laughs> what was this? Oh, it's his feet. That's someone's feet. Yep. Blew his feet right off. All right, we have a lot of headless dudes. I gotta find some faces. Oh man. Ooh, ouch. It might have been our first guy. Lost his nose. Took a bullet right above, you know, the left eyebrow. Yeah, it looks like left eyebrow was the shot. Oh, this one's starting to bend out. It's going right there. 
This guy, I think, caught the bullet. That looks like some bullet there, but then also broke his head in half. This guy just lost his nose. <laughs> we were really just checking the construction of these guys, and it's really subpar. You know, like this guy didn't even get hit with a bullet. He lost both his feet and his nose. Do better. Using high-tech uh, $4 billion software, we just recreated um, how this crime happened. So, um, bullet came in right here, 330 at Lapua. Boom! Just kind of skinned his head a little bit, knocked his hat off, not a big deal. Came in here, hit this guy above the left brow. Boom! Split his head wide open. Big deal. This guy behind him too. Boom! Lost, lost a good a quarter of his head. Not ideal. Uh, guy behind him lost half of his head. He probably would have died. Um, and then uh, we just got some regular like splatter back here on this guy. Knocked his nose off, so he's fine. So three third of the pool. One, two, three, four, and some change. These guys are good though. Unfortunately. We have one more gun. Hey, buddy. Hey. What do you think he's gonna do? He paid me 10 bucks to come here. He said this was an easy gig. Why are you not talking? Hey, dude. Hey, play games with me. Hey, hey! That wasn't me. Howdy, y'all. We got a Comrade 12 right here, loaded up with drum mag. It loaded kind of weird, though. There's two gaps in there. I think it, it may actually jam twice. Or more, you never know. All right, coming in hot with 12 gauge buckshot. Yep, there it is. That's gonna happen again. Now it should never happen again. Oh, that actually jammed. Merry Christmas, y'all, on the eighth day of Christmas. Tomorrow, the ninth day of Christmas, we're doing a little Christmas cheer for you. Thanks for watching this episode of Trash. I love you! And I'll see you next time. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.